so much. And before you go, uh, we just have some closing remarks from Dr. Cliff Dom, who's the Delta Lead Scientist. So stick around for a few more minutes. Oh, thank you. Uh, I was asked to do this about two weeks ago, and I flippantly said yes. And now, after having experienced the two days here, my head is spinning. I really don't know uh, why I said yes, because trying to even say a few cogent things after all we've heard, I think is nearly impossible. I did really like the observation that the fact that there are so many people still here, still engaged, still involved, tells me that this was a very successful opportunity for us to get together. And a few things, why is this event important? I think one of the reasons it's important is it really brings together science and policymakers. We had some really key policymakers here for this event. I think that was critical. Uh, it's going to really mean some long-term success, I think, when uh, we actually digest all the material we heard. Second thing, um, learning about what's going on at all these sites. Uh, it's really an opportunity to learn about six very complex, very interesting systems, and I think all of us take away information that's going to help us do the science in our individual sites by knowing what's going on in some of these other sites. And then finally, uh, I, I really wanted to just say a couple things about what are a few key things we heard. One of the things that I was going to mention is communication, communication, communication. We talked about communication in all of its different forms. Uh, interesting to, to hear all of the sites talk about how communication is done, how it could be done better, why it's important. Um, I also felt, uh, heard over and over again that modeling underpins strong science and decision making, and there's some really important areas where I think we can move forward on the modeling enterprise and all of these various sites. Uh, another thing I heard was social sciences must be embraced and integrated into the science and complex systems. I was going to share a little story with you. Uh, I was thinking about it as we were driving over this morning. 21 years ago, I was a program director at the National Science Foundation, and we started a program called Water and Watersheds. We said that water and watersheds needed to have three elements to be a successful pro, uh, proposal. It had to have the physical sciences, it had to have the biological sciences, and it had to have the social sciences. We got 636 proposals in for a competition that at best could fund 20. Just to give you how much pent up desire there was to make that happen, and I know we're still wrestling with how to combine the social sciences, the physical sciences, and the biological sciences, but progress is being made, and I'm seeing progress being made at meetings like this. Finally, uh, the other thing I heard over and over again is peer review, over-the-shoulder peer review, NAS peer review, peer review. Peer review is important to what we do and the credibility of our science. A number of you have come up and asked me, well, has, how have things changed from when I was here in 2008 to 2012, three years, nine months, and versus the time that I've been here, 14 months. And one of the things I will say is there are clear signs in many of these sites that we're moving from the endless planning that we've been doing towards implementation, learning, decision making, and maybe even adaptive management. So uh, I, I think that's a, a clear moving forward. So finally, the last thing I was gonna, was gonna mention is that uh, before we had this workshop, I. Um, went and saw an old colleague of mine who we tried very hard to entice to come here, and the colleague is John Fleck. John Fleck is the, was the science writer for a couple decades at the Albuquerque Journal. He's now a University of New Mexico faculty member. Many of you probably know that he has a new book out, and his book is called Water is for Fighting Over and Other, Other Myths About Water in the West. I, I know Jay Lund, for example, has written a little, uh, written a little uh, book review on that. Um, one of the things that he lays out in this book is a promising record of cooperation, and he also uh, feels that often the good things are obscured by the crisis narrative that we hear about water in the western United States. So I was chatting with him, and I was telling him about the workshop, and I, and I said, I'm sorry, you can't be there, and uh, I said, well, you know, you've written uh, mostly with a focus on the Colorado River in your book. I asked him, well, what about the Delta? What about the California Delta? He looked at me and said, now that's a tough nut to crack. <laughs> um, so with that, I think I want to pass it over to Jessica, who wants to say a few words of uh, thank you. And anyway, I also want to say thank you 
to everyone who came and engaged and to all of you particularly that came a long distance to be part of this. Thank you very much. So just want to offer words of thanks. Uh, we set out with this workshop to talk and to gain a better understanding of how science and collaborative science is managed, funded, and communicated around the country in high-profile ecosystems, and I think we can say we did that. We learned, we heard, we listened, and now the next step is to figure out where to go with this for the Bay Delta. So um, one thing to mark here on your calendars, we have a meeting on November 14th. Uh, Randy talked about this a little bit at the beginning of the workshop. This is the Delta Plan Interagency Implementation Committee. Uh, we'll be meeting, we meet twice a year. It's directors from the state and federal agencies, 17 of them, uh, who are in some way responsible for implementing the co-equal goals and uh, ensuring both water supply reliability and the health of the ecosystem in the Delta. Uh, we have a few DPIC committee members that have participated in the workshop. We appreciate them being here and their advisors being here. Um, and we're looking forward to talking about what this means for the Delta. So. Um, please come to that meeting. Uh, if you have thoughts between now and then and would like to be engaged uh, past November, please let Mike or I know, um, or anyone from Stewardship Council or De Delta Science Program. So with that, here is my long list of thank yous. This workshop really could not have been possible without many, many of the people that are in this room. Um, I want to start with my co-host, Mike Chikowski from USGS. Um, Mike has guided the vision of this workshop from the very beginning and walked us through the many twists and turns. Um, and Mike, we could not have done it without you. So thank you. We have had some key staff at the Delta Stewardship Council who have worked tirelessly on this. Uh, Kate Anderson, near Oxenberg, and Amanda Boll, who have helped with everything from the advanced briefing paper, writing, and many, many rounds of edits to making sure that we were well fed over the past few days. So thank you to the three of them. Um, Thank you to Randy Fiorini, who is the chair of the Delta Stewardship Council and also the chair of the DPIC committee, who has helped and supported along the way for this workshop and helping us see it through. Um, thanks also to the other council members that were here in attendance at the workshop, Susan Tatayan and Patrick Johnson. We appreciate all their support. Um, a lot of the Delta Stewardship Council staff has, have helped, both you, me, and Megan <laughs> have helped with the signs throughout the presentations and the maps. Um, We've gotten so much advice and guidance from staff along the way, and we really appreciate that. Uh, UC Davis Extension, Jeff Lux has been helping us, both advising us, uh, both UC Extension and SIMC, the Coastal Science Marine Institute, Coastal Marine Science Institute, has helped uh, both with facilities and logistics, and we really appreciate all their help and support. Um, we have had an amazing planning committee that has been guiding us along the way. Cliff Dom, Jay Lund, Tracy Collier, Reiner Honecke, Aaron Forsman, Ted Summer, and Peter Goodwin. Thank you all for your help and your assistance, and you saw many of them up on the stage over the past two days. Um, and then last but not least, all of the experts that came from around the country to come and provide advice and insight. We really are so grateful for having you out here. Um, and to all of you who have spent two days here, <laughs> um, and you, we know November is a bu busy, busy month for science in the Delta, and we really appreciate you taking the time to be here and to participate in the conversation. Um, I have been blown away by the level of discussion and conversation in the room over the past two days. So thank you, all of you.